Today's video is created in celebration of reaching 5 patrons. Yes, this video is late, but my patrons must get the recognition they deserve. So instead of thanking me for writing another fanfic, which I never thought I would do, be sure to thank Orion Train, Quincy Chamberlain, Jamman5, Lars Espen, Shark, Data52, Nerxu, Pixcalibur, Alberto Cruz, Tyler Bennett, and Tenka. For as little as a dollar a month, you too can become a patron and earn a unique Discord title, a credit at the end of each video, and access to exclusive Patreon updates. Just visit patreon.com slash behindbigjoe. This fanfiction is going to treat the last one I wrote as canon, so if you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend watching that first. I hope you enjoy. Fade in on an 18 year old Nishkata, looking at a house that we have not seen before. Nishkata thinks to himself, I'm so nervous. We've met up before and walked home from school, but never anything like this. I'm so sweaty. Am I dressed properly? What if she tries to tease me? What then? We hear Takagi's voice off screen. Hi Nishkata. Nishkata looks towards the direction of her voice. Before him stands Takagi, waving as she approaches. Ready for our date? She asks with a smile. Nishkata jerks his body to stand upright and puts on a disgruntled expression. This isn't a- but on seeing Takagi's confused look, he calms down. Sorry, force of habit, he explains. Yes, I'm ready for our date. Takagi looks at the home that Nishikata was looking at before. I can't believe they finally built something on the empty lot, she says. Nishikata nods. Yeah, it was empty for so long. Takagi looks at Nishikata and smiles. We sure made a lot of memories here, huh? Nishikata quickly dons a defeated expression. You sure did tease me a lot, huh? Takagi continues to smile as she looks back towards the house. Yes, but there was also the time we got Christmas presents for each other, and the time we built snowmen. Oh, and how could we forget learning to tandem ride? When Takagi finishes speaking, Nishikata, who is looking at her, thinks to himself, she's right. There were loads of great memories made here, and all I could think about was the teasing. She really does like me, so I should try to take it easy. Takagi looks back at Nishikata and asks, so where are we going for our first official date? Nishikata replies nervously, I thought we could try that new ramen place by the train station. He begins to walk away from the house. Takagi, now walking beside him, hums and smirks. Not cut ramen from the candy store? She asks. Nishikata looks shocked. Of course not. Jeez, even I know that cut ramen isn't a real date. Takagi mentions, but we did have a cup ramen date, remember? Nishikata looks genuinely confused. Takagi continues, I asked if you wanted to bet our Naruto on a game. Nishikata perks up. Oh yeah, that was after our dodgeball game. Takagi replies, yeah, the one where you caught me. Nishikata pauses. You are talking about dodgeball, right? Takagi quickly responds, I'm talking about dodgeball. After a brief pause, Takagi adds, you know, I sure had a lot of fun those days. Nishikata looks nervous and braces himself for whatever comes next, but nothing more comes. He thinks to himself, she's teasing me, right? She has to be. After looking at her smiling face for a moment, he reconsiders. Honestly, I can't even tell. Cut to later. As Nishikata and Takagi walk, they eventually come to be outside the middle school they attended. Takagi stops and looks through the front gate. Nishikata stops as well. Takagi says, this takes me back. Nishikata seems a little embarrassed. Yeah, it sure does. He then thinks to himself, she teased me a lot here as well. After a brief pause, Takagi speaks again. You know, it was in this place that I started liking you. Nishikata goes bit red. Really? That long ago? Takagi nods and then says, how about we play a game? If you can guess when I started liking you, you win. Nishikata looks nervous, but curious. As the two continue walking, Nishikata thinks about which moment made Takagi like him carefully until he speaks up. Was it graduation? Takagi shakes her head and says, earlier. Earlier? Nishikata asks, his voice carrying tones of shock and nerves. Earlier, Takagi confirms. He thinks some more before he speaks again. Was it when I tried to get the seat next to you in our first year? Takagi shakes her head. Earlier. Nishikata looks shocked and thinks to himself, earlier than that? But what could have... Nishikata turns beat red. Was it... Was it the time I said I would rather walk home with you? Nishikata looks down as Takagi smiles at him. Earlier. Nishikata looks defeated but also shocked. Takagi adds, that didn't even happen at the school, before laughing. And Nishikata looks wholly defeated. After laughing, Takagi takes a deep breath. All those moments were very special to me. They all made me like you more. 
but they weren't the first time I felt romantically about you. Really? Nishkata timidly asks. Then, when was it? Takagi looks ahead. Do you remember our first day of school? You were late to class and your introduction was interrupted? Nishkata nods. Yeah, I do. That's the first day we met. Takagi continues. Do you remember why you were late? Nishkata looks down slightly and says, I was returning your handkerchief. Takagi nods. When I realised that you were late because of that, I realised you were someone who cared for others, even people you didn't know. Nishkata smiles. That's when I realised you were a good person. But what made me like you was when you found out who I was. And you had the funniest reaction. Nishkata's smile quickly disappears. That was it? He asks, partly shocked, partly disappointed. Of course, Takagi responds. I realised that you were someone who could make me laugh. It was only a little crush at first. But as time went on, I just liked you more and more. Nishkata blushes and timidly admits. Actually... It was probably around then that I started to like you too. Takagi smiles. But wait, Nishikata continues. Did you really have a crush on me that whole time? Takagi nods. And you never said a word. Takagi shakes her head, but then corrects herself. Well, nothing that you ever picked up on. Nishikata suddenly looks upset. You liked me that whole time, and I couldn't see it. Takagi seems shocked by this admission, but smiles again. I never got lonely. You were always there. Nishkata arcs up almost out of reflex, as if he is about to be teased. He thinks to himself, Is she? Is she just trying to tease me again? I don't think so, but I'm just not sure. He then looks at Takagi looking forward and smiling with slightly flushed cheeks. We cut to the pair sitting together having finished their lunch. Takagi is laughing at a disgruntled Nishkata. She stops when she seemingly remembers something. Say, when were you leaving for college again? Nishikata looks up from his empty bowl towards Takagi and says, Next week. Takagi looks a little upset. That soon, huh? I sure am going to miss you. Nishikata flinches once again, preparing for the worst. This has got to be a setup. She's going to... He looks at her face. She looks sad. He thinks to himself, No. No, she is going to miss me. And I'm going to miss her too. Nishikata looks sad as well before putting on a determined face. I'll come home every chance I get. Every holiday, I'll be right here. Takagi looks up, a little surprised. Really? Nishikata, who is looking impressed with himself, nods. Of course. Takagi timidly asks, would I be able to visit you in the city? Nishikata, still looking smug, begins to answer that question. Of course, you are my... He stops that line of speech as his confident expression becomes nervous. Nishkuta looks down for a moment, but then at Takagi. He pulls himself together and powers through with a bright red face. You are my girlfriend, after all. Takagi smiles and says, This is the first time you've ever called me that. Nishkata, who is looking away, tries to brush it off. Well, it's not such a big deal, I mean... He suddenly looks at Takagi and sees her bright smile. He smiles back. Well, I guess I could call you that more often. Takagi nods. Please do, boyfriend. She begins to giggle, and Nishkata looks a little defeated, but ultimately happy. Say, Takagi starts, could we make one more stop before going home? We cut to the shrine during sunset. Takagi and Nishkata sit on the platform, looking out over their orange-tinted hometown. Takagi speaks, you know, we've made a lot of memories here too. Nishkata thinks to himself, all I can remember is Takagi teasing me. There's gotta be a time where I didn't lose. Yeah, like, remember the time we got stuck here during that rainstorm? He says nervously. Of course, she says before donning a smirk. You were such a gentleman that day. Nishkata goes red in the face and thinks to himself, Idiot! That was probably the worst defeat I suffered at this place. Why did I bring it up? There's got to be something. Some moment where I won. Some moment where I... All malicious intent instantly disappears from his face moments before he says aloud. This is where I found you in our second year of middle school. The day you fought with your mum. Takagi nods. Yeah, I was really upset that day. You were the only one to notice, and you also cheered me up. Hey, Nishkata says nervously. You said that you fought over vacation dates, right? Takagi replies, uh-huh. Nishkata continues, and that you had that fight because you wanted to be home for the summer festival, right? Uh-huh, Takagi replies. So that you could go with me, Nishkata finishes. Takagi nods. Yeah, I was confident that you would ask me to the festival that year, and I didn't want to tell you no for any reason. Nishkata looks upset again. You did all that for me. 
and after all that I got us separated and we missed the fireworks. Takaki shoots Nishikata a concerned look. If only I weren't so stubborn. We could have watched those fireworks together. We could have been together sooner. I could have made you happier. Takagi cuts him off. You couldn't. Nishikata is surprised by this and Takagi continues. You make me happier than I have ever been. I knew you were a little slow to catch on, but it didn't matter. I would have waited as long as it took. As long as I could have been by your side. Nishikata goes red in the cheeks again, but his expression is not one of embarrassment, but rather one of delight. With tears welling in his eyes, he says, I love you, Takagi. Takagi did not see this coming. Her jaw opens and she goes red in the face and begins to tear up. She stares at Nishikata for a moment before she begins to sob lightly. Nishikata looks concerned for a moment as Takagi rubs the tears off her eyes, but this concern dissipates as a smile forms on her face. I love you too, Nishikata. Takagi leans in and puts her head on Nishikata's shoulder. Nishikata tilts his head to rest on Takagi's. They sit like this as they once again look out onto their orange-tinted hometown. Fade to black. The end. And that was it for this fanfiction. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd once again like to thank the patrons who are responsible for this video. Orion Tran, Quincy Chamberlain, Jaman5, Lars Espen, Shark, Data52, Nerxu, Pix Calibar, Alberto Cruz, Tyler Bennett, and Tenka. Once again, if you would like to support my channel further, you can find a link to my Patreon on screen now or in the description. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.